Tropeolum Magus, agroplants.org, also known as Monk, Cress or Garden uh, Nasturitum. Uh, this hibiscus creeping vine, it's an annual plant, grown for the edible flowers, leaves, but mostly as ornamental plant. Uh, I don't know why, but people don't re not really aware that this plant it's totally edible. It's also can use as a ground cover and possible even to grow it in a pond edge. Except this, if you would like to grow it, there is a link below, link in the right top side. And if you purchase it, this is amazing donation for this channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe, really, really help. And this is another kind of donation. So it can grow in variety of climate, Mediterranean, desert, subtropical, temperate, uh, or uh, from hardness zone from uh, 10b to 11 as an autumn planting and from 4 a, uh, from 4 to 10a in spring planting i will explain a little bit later about planting seasons uh, so the leaves are edible as i said they are green and can be also variegate green with white a uh, round shape like a plate uh, the leaf taste remind watercress a radish or mustard plant uh, same for the flowers it's the same kind of uh, flavor uh, some plants the flowers are stronger than the leaves and some it's the opposite so I don't really have a rule for this as I said the flowers are edible can be different kind of colors like yellow red orange purple pink or even more than one color and uh, when you grow it uh, if you choose to grow it as a vine climbing, you should trellising on something, keep the soil moist. Uh, if you grow it in an envi aquatic environment, uh, grow it on the edge, uh, not, not deeper than 10 cm, so it's 4 inches, and rich soil. The plants love rich soil. Uh, a lot of people want to uh, think that it's perennial plant, but this is not, but you can actually treat it as perennial plant. Why? Because this plant recedes itself. Uh, usually you plant it and for a lot of years you will you won't do nothing as I do. Nothing. You will have every year in the season it will start to grow. Uh, in harden zone of 9 to 11 uh, it can recede itself uh, and in harden zone of uh, let's say 9 to 10a need to add a lot of mulch in the winter because the seeds uh, to keep the seeds viable if not they will be they will be frozen frozen and will die just will die a few way to start to grow uh, to grow this plant uh, so by plant of course seedling seeds and a uh, cutting also it's annual plant it's really easy to start by cutting one it's uh, uh, just cutting and the other you can put in water or in soil uh, or bending the a branch over the the soil and just cover it with the soil, keep it moist and you will have new roots, and then you help the plant to grow much faster. Although it's grow faster anyway. So if you want to grow it by water, it's really easy. Just switch the water every few days. If you grow it in the soil, just keep it moist and more than moist. Keep the soil a little bit wet. It will grow roots. Uh, it's not must to start by cutting, but uh, if you want to have, let's say, uh, in the spring, a lot of plants and you live in very cold area, uh, so be aware that better to do it in the winter. And there is no better method than to start uh, just to put the plants, you know, it start by seeds, just to put the plants in water, the continuation, when it's still connected to the plant, and it will grow a lot of new roots, and then in the spring you can have a lot of plants. Be aware that this plant is aggressive and invasive. As I said, as I said, it recedes itself. It's totally I treat it like as a perennial plant. A uh, planting season will be uh, in the spring in hardiness zone of four to eight, spring to summer in hardiness zone of nine to ten a, in hardiness zone of ten b to eleven, in autumn to the winter. If there is rain in the summer, uh, temperature it's not too much high, possible to plant in hardiness zone 10b to 11 all the year 
uh, in the place with hot summer, like in the desert. Uh, depends the hardness zone because this is might be a problem, but it's in the hardness zone of 10b to 11. There is no problem, and the spring will uh, the autumn will be the season. If not, try to grow it in the end of the winter until the spring. It will grow probably. It will die in the hot summer. And also should consider to grow it if you grow it in the desert to start to grow it indoor in the winter. Major pests. Are Pests are Prodenia, slugs, mealybugs, uh, but it's not really effect on the plant. It's, it's grow very fast, so it's not really crucial for the plant. Uh, pruning can be all the season, no need except if you want to control the growth or con contain the, the growth, that it won't be crazy. The size of the plant uh, will be from 1 to 3 meters, so it means 3 to 10 feet. Uh, height usually is smaller from 20 to 40 centimeters, so it's mean like 8 to 16 inches. Uh, because it's a ground cover, so if the soil is moist and the plant touches the, the ground, it will just uh, will make more roots and will grow much faster and you have, will have much more plants. Uh, water requirement, a uh, small amount of water can grow but better with bigger amount of water average amount of water it's also okay but i think that average amount of water to big amount of water will be a great but also possible to grow it with small amount of water and this is something uh, this is good in this plant uh, light condition full sun and possible in half shade but will bloom less in the desert uh, in harder zone of 10b to 11 better to use half shade Except this, if you want to grow it in a container, the minimum size of the container, better to have 10 liters, so it means 2.6 gallons. And need to check the roots once in a month, because the plant grows super fast, so be aware that it might fill all the roots area. Uh, use potting mix or peat soil with perlite, add some uh, organic matter, it's really important for this plant. Organic matter, rich soil. Uh, you can add some chopped mulch to keep the soil moist, of course, and uh, there is no problem that the plant, uh, that the fill the, the pot in water uh, in the bottom, and just let the plant drink as long as it's it want. Blooming season, it's in the spring to the summer, in hot climate, autumn to the spring. Uh, general information about the flowers, as you know, I already said it. Uh, but uh, pollination it attracts some bees and butterflies and you can use uh, the flowers in a salad eating raw and stir fry and cook the same for the leaves it's the same uh, uh, same for the leaf and the leaves you can also try to create some paste uh, it's like mustard paste but different Edible leaves are in the harvesting season, it's in the spring to summer, and in hot climate, autumn to the spring. Uh, trim the leaves when the plant is uh, young, but after the plant establish. A lot of people just cut it too much fast, and they actually uh, prevent the plant to, to establish better. Except this, if you want to grow it by seeds, uh, just this is a little bit general information. Moist soil, prefer rich soil and high humidity. Uh, if you grow it in the hardness zone of 4 to 10a, it will be in the spring. Hardness zone of 10b to 11 in the autumn. Possible also in the winter, but less good. Uh, spacing, it's 30 on 40 cm, so it's been 12 on 16 inches. And if you grow it in a, as, a, as a vine to have something climb, so it's 15 on 20. It's been 6 on 8 inch. Except this, uh, it takes 2 to 3 weeks to germinate. And there is a lot of kind of cultivars that are beautiful, like black velvet, cherry rose jewel, empress of India, jewel of Africa, moonlight, peach me melba and purple emperor red emperor salmon baby and tom tom series and there is much more but this is i think this is the best and uh, of course you can read more about the cultivars and the website and check what it's fit for you 
except this easy plan to grow be aware that might be super invasive and aggressive but it's uh, beautiful and edible so why not we that's all from growplants.org don't forget to subscribe visit our website and of course if you have any question just ask you have here links about more videos some list subscribe and of course purchase plant and this is donation for our channel i hope you enjoy and come visit us again